Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this glam right here. So this look was kind of like requested um, when I did a poll f from Instagram. I don't know why I'm having like tongue twisters today. Don't comprehend. Um, but anyways, so last week I did a bold look. This week was more neutrals. Um, I tried my best to keep it very simple but of course you know you start natural and then it turns out to be something more dramatic than you expected but I created this look um I use gloss today which I'm really obsessed with liquid lipsticks and I'm trying not to use a lot of liquid lipstick just because the weather in New York right now is brutal and it's really cold so I decided to do this glossy look today for you guys so I hope that you guys enjoy this video, leave any comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe, um, but yeah, so I hope that you guys love this look, and I'll see you guys next time in my next, wow, Blah. what I meant to say, I'll see you guys in my next video, so yeah, thank you for watching, bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my face looks hit, but let's just get into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to use is going to be this NARS primer. So it has an SPF um, 30, which is really good for the sun. So the areas that I'm going to put it on is going to be here and here, just because I'm a little bit oily. And a little bit here. So today's video is going to be basically a little bit of high-end and a little bit of drugstore, because the last video that I did was mostly... Drugs, basically all drugstore, drugs, wow, drugstore product. Um, so I'm kind of like going to mix it today for you guys to see. And today's look is going to be very, very neutral. Well, I'm going to give it a little bit twist, but it's going to be mostly neutral, neutral makeup for you guys to see. My skin lately, especially because of this weather, has been like nuts. Like, I'm oily here and then over here, my skin has been very dry, which is very annoying. Because I had to change around my skincare routine. So, the next thing that I'm going to be um, using is my Bobbi Brown uh, Long Wear Even Finish Foundation. It has an SPF. 15 in it which is really good this coverage is a light to medium and it's really good for oily skin even though my skin at the moment is combination due to weather changes so I usually just put like two or three pumps or four or more and then I'm going to be using my Mario Badesco setting spray and put it in the brush to give it a little bit of hydration. I feel like this is going to be a little bit light. Okay, so now that I'm done with my foundation, even though it's a little bit white, but we're going to just fix it up with powder and bronzer later on. I'm going to do my brows. So I usually just do um, the Morphe palette, and I usually do this color right here, just because I like them to be like my hair color. And I've been loving, I think I spoke about this in my last video, the e.l.f. brow pencil in neutral, because it has like... It has really high, nice coverage, um, and it's like, you could spend, like, on brow products, like Anastasia and all these great brands, uh, for $20, $18, and this I got it for those dollars. Like, why am I going to pass an opportunity like this, where I could just get, what, like, four or five for the price of $2? Well, you know what I mean. So where I'm gonna I'm gonna do my brows. 
So my brows, I'm just letting them grow in. This is why they look a little bit too freaking crazy. Just because I want to have more thick brows. So this is why I need brows to look like this. Okay, so after I'm done using, well, using my brow pencil and my Morphe palette for brows, um, I like to go in and use my MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer in the color NC35. And then I like using this flat brush by, um, by Morphe in the style N432, just to kind of clean up my brows and give them more like a clean definition. Just because I have, sorry for the background noise guys, like you could hear cars passing by my street, or behind my street, um, but yeah, after I'm done filling them in, I like to go and just make sure everything's clean and a little bit more sharp. So now that I'm done with this one, I'm going to come back and do my other brow off camera. Okay, so now that I'm done doing my brows, I'm going to go back with the same conceal that I was using for my brows to prime my eyes. So the brush that I'm using is Morphe E28. It's this blending brush, but I like to use it for when I conceal my eyes before I do my shadow. I'm really trying to figure out if I want to use the Modern Renaissance or the Jaclyn Hill palette or this palette that I have from Bobbi Brown. Well, it's kind of like shadows and blushes, but I don't, I don't know. So I think I'm just going to start using the Modern Renaissance, even though this palette looks like it went through a tornado and back. So we're going to use this palette right here. And I'm going to use my Morphe London brush um, and it's all M521 so the first thing that I'm going to do is use burnt orange sorry my phone is going off and I'm going to use it as a transition color So now I'm going to be using um, this eyeshadow by Bobbi Brown. It's called Camel. I usually use, used to use this a lot as a bronzer, um, but I'm going to be using it in my eyes. And I'm going to be using the Morphe brush and blending brush in R40. Alright, so now I'm going to be using my Too Faced um, Glitter Glue. So this is like a glitter glue primer just so like, the glitter doesn't kind of like move around the place while you're wearing. It's just so annoying. Literally, I feel like every time I film, there's always something going on around my block. So I'm going to be using this for my lid. I'm like running low. I wanted to get a new one.
So now that I have the glitter glue on my uh, my lid, I'm going to be using this Artist Couture Pigment and Diamond Glow Powder Double Double Take. Yeah, Double Take. Let's take a double take. I love his pigments. They're so beautiful. I don't know if you guys could probably see that. It's just like so gorgeous. And it's like a pink, peachy, orangey pigment. So we are going to do this now. I'm probably going to have fall out, but that's okay. Okay, so now that I'm done using this color in my lid, I'm going to go and use my Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I lost the paper where they had all like the names of the shadow, so I'm going to be using mostly these colors here. I don't know if you guys can see it. These colors, they're kind of like a burnt orange undertone just because I love colors like that. For my lid I cannot stay away from it I literally use it all the time um so yeah we're going to we're going to do this right now so I'm going to focus that literally in the corner and just bring it up a little bit So now that I'm done using that orangey tone color, I'm going to go and use a darker tone, which is going to be this one right here. And I'm literally going to use it in these areas just to kind of give it a little bit more definition and just bring it up a little bit as well So the next thing that I'm going to be using is going to be this Elf Gel um, Shadow. Well, not shadow. It's like glitter and it's called Golden Glitz. I love it because you can add it with like any shadow just to like give it a little bit more pop to the eyes. I usually don't do my liner on camera and if I do it sometimes but the liner that I usually use is by NYX and it's in the one that says vinyl liquid liner just because it's a little bit more black and the other one that they have is usually more like a grayish black so this is the one that I use and I usually clean up my um, my liquid liner just with like a flat brush and I use like any crane concealer or a liquid concealer just to make it sharper. Let me just get up close so you guys can see. So, if you see 
I usually do a little bit out and sometimes I just cut it with my flat brush. So the next thing that I'm going to be using now it's going to be my Tarte Shape Take Concealer. Um, the color that I use from them is usually medium but I'm using tan. That's because I couldn't find my medium concealer. I know it is a little bit dark than my foundation, but that's totally okay because once I set the concealer and the foundation, everything's going to be blended out. Um, so the brush that I use to do my concealer is this Morphe brush in the E8, it's E8 style, E8, whatever. Um, and then I usually spray it with like any setting, just so it's a little bit more hydrating when I put it on. So the lashes that I'm going to be using today is by J Lash, J I Lashes. Um, these lashes, um, they're mint lashes. I love this brand with lashes. They have so many styles, and I literally use their lashes like three or four times because I'm obsessed of how like, like it just adds a little bam to your look, to your makeup look, and it just completes the whole look. Okay, so now that I put my lashes on, um, this is what they look like. They have like a little bit of volume, but they're not so dramatic, which I like for this look. Um, and then I you did use this mascara, um, the L'Oreal Mascara in Balmain's Lash Paradise. Um, I was watching Beauty Beauty by Rosita, and she like raves about this mascara. Even by itself, it gives you a lot of volume, which I am obsessed with. Just because sometimes I don't really like to wear lashes when um, on my days off. And this mascara is amazing. Um, I got it at any like CVS store. You can get it or yeah, any CVS store. And I think it cost me like a ten dollars. So yeah. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is putting my bronzer on. So the bronzer that I'm using today, um, it's going to be by Bye Brown, and it's called Golden Light. And like this. So I'm going to be using my Morphe M551 brush, which is this. I like using this because it kind of gives you more of a natural look when you put bronzer on and it's not so harsh. My baby hairs are literally all over the place. I'm going to be using this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow, but I've been I use it a couple of times um, in my old video as a bronzer, just because I like the warmth from it. And it's in the name of it is Camel. And then the brush that I'm using, which is this one, it's another Morphe brush in the number M five five six. So the next thing that I'm going to be using is going to be my Artist Couture Highlighter and the color Double Tap, well Double Take, sorry, I don't know why I keep saying Double Tap. And I'm going to go a little bit using my fan brush by Morphe and the style M310. So I had to stop my makeup because my camera died when I was doing my lower lash and my shadow as well. 
So yeah, so I literally just use um, my camel shadow and then the mascara that I was using for my lashes. So yes, that's all you guys missed. So now I have to do my lips. So I don't know if I should do a matte look or if I should do glossy. Even though I always do matte. Hmm. Okay, so I did use this liner by um, Urban Decay in the color Start Naked. Um, and I'm going to be using on top um, by Desi and Katie, um, the collection. And the color more creamer, please. And then on top of that, I'm going to be using um, this e.l.f. lip lacquer um, in the color natural. I barely wear like any glosses, so that's why I'm trying to expand my horizons. Ready? Well, okay guys, so this was the final look for today. So I decided to do something very neutral. Just because when I asked you guys a few weeks ago about if you guys wanted to see bold or more neutrals, um, I decided to do the bold look last week and then this week is going to be neutrals. So I hope that you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and please let me know what you guys want to see on my channel because I'm willing to try new things um, that you guys want to see on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Just watch your foot slide right through Cause girl I feel